Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump is stronger than national polls suggest. By David M. Drucker. President Trump is still popular in core Republican strongholds, even though he has suffered a dip in the national public opinion polls. Trump's approval rating is 45 percent an underwater mark previously unseen for a president this early in his first term. But Trump's image and his policies are holding up just fine among voters in Republican districts and states key to the president's ability to drive his agenda through Congress, and his party's success in 2018. The bad news for you and your colleagues is that writing about the national numbers in this environment is a useless exercise, said David Carney a veteran Republican operative in New Hampshire who has advised presidential candidates. People are arguing over Super Bowl ads, the country is divided. While his national numbers aren't good, Trump is much stronger in the states that could decide the outcome of the midterm elections, according to Republican operatives who have reviewed polling produced since New Year's Day. For now, that suggests Democrats are less likely to benefit from the president's struggles nationally than has been the case in past election cycles. Like Trump's loss of the national popular vote, Republican operatives say the president's high disapproval numbers are being driven by dissatisfaction with his leadership in progressive, high-population metro centers, like Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. The midterm elections, however, are going to be fought on Senate battlegrounds that include red states like Missouri and West Virginia and swing states like Ohio, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, all won by Trump. Missouri is a perfect example. Trump won the state handily in November and lifted Republicans down ticket. And yet, it's there that vulnerable senators like Claire McCaskill, a Democrat running in a red state, need to find a way to win if Democrats are to have a shot at putting a check on the president in the midterm. It won't be easy for McCaskill. A survey of 863 likely Missouri voters conducted Thursday and Friday pegged Trump's job performance at 47 percent to prove 43 percent disapprove, better than the national average. His controversial executive order related to immigration polled higher, at 50 percent approve 41 percent disapprove. The poll, by the GOP firm Remington Research, headquartered in Kansas City. Mo had a margin of error of 3.85 percentage points. When the survey is broken down by major media markets, it's even more revealing, and offers an example of what is happening nationally. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.